and we are live. Woo We're even starting on time. Happens once in a while. I'm the Nerdarchist Dave, hanging out with Ted, Nathan Nerdark. And you know, Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. You may have heard us say that a few times. Ah, once or twice. And uh, you know, today we're doing our our second installment of Quests and Adventures. Tonight, today we're going to be discussing the Dragon's Horde. And what that really means is some people sent us stuff, and we're going to show you what they sent us. Uh, we're also going to take something from the Dragon's Word and give it to one of you guys. If you comment it, if you shared, if you liked, and you're subscribe. subscribed, and you're a uh, on our 25K subscriber video, we're going to randomly pick one of your names. We have a commenter, uh, comment picker. We're going to be able to do it and share the, share the screen. So listen, I was playing with it earlier just to see how it worked. And it does tell us if you've liked it, and it tells us if you've commented. So if you haven't liked that video, but you did comment, go over there and just like the video so that your name is in the entry. Because if we draw one and it says zero likes and a comment, then we'll grab a new one. Then we're gonna grab a new one. And I want you guys to be able to be eligible for the contest because we are giving away super sweet, easy roller dice, um, a dice yeah, tray, dice tray, which you'll be able to pick. The, your color. Uh, the, the color of the tray and the color of the dice. And our good friends of, over at EasyRollerDice.com. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the gunmetal dice. They're really cool. Uh, they have a bunch of, they have like eight or nine different colors, something like that. And you guys will be able to tell us which ones you like, which one you want, and we're going to have them send it to you. They're super cool to sponsor that. But if you're not a winner, but you still want to get some Easy Roller Dice swag, uh, there's a link in the description below, and it's easyroller.com backslash nerdarchy. And we, we get to see a little smidgen of that, and it helps us out. So we, we appreciate any time you guys uh, buy stuff through any of our links. And generally, if we send you someplace, there's more more than likely we get compensated in some way or uh, shape or form. Well, but speaking of links, as always on our Q&A, our quests and adventures, all the links are down below, whether it be to the YouTube channel, the Facebook, or not the Facebook page, uh, the, the the website, the YouTube channel, or any RPG related Kickstarters that we're aware of, they're down below. Go check, go check it out. Whether it's something you you missed or whether it's something you want to watch a second time, addendum to that, they will be down there. I haven't put them there yet. Oh no, <laughs> I completely forgot that. But yeah, we'll get that stuff in there. So if you check back, it becomes a little index for you guys to find any of the stuff we do. Um, also, what was the other thing that I wanted to mention? Well, first of all, you know, thank you guys for showing up. You know, it was just before we only had one one person in there, and I was like, we had we had, hmm. we had Wayne, yes, hanging out with us. We did, and now you know, now has grown. Wayne Daly is in in the house. Uh, uh, Doctor Feet, Kyle S, Tom Clues, Excalibur, LPS, Tom Clues, Tom Clues, Doctor Feet, Brandon Herbert, M Sakura. 024. So there's a bunch of you guys there. We always appreciate when you hey, come and hang out yeah, with us. Yeah, come hang up so we can hang out with us. We can butcher your uh, your screen name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so that that's always cool. So uh, let's kick this thing off and talk about the Patreon awards that Nate's been oh, working yeah. on. That's going out. Okay. So upcoming for uh, January. Yeah, January, January first, first week of January. Yeah, so if you're in Patreon before January first, you, and you're at the appropriate level, you get access to uh, the certain write-ups of the the Patreon rewards. And uh, for we'll go in order. So uh, Mage, Mage Forge, Mage Forge is first, and uh, that is actually written by Ryan. It's a uh, weapon of life and death, and uh, it's a pretty interesting take on a kind of Grim Reaper style. Uh, would go really well with the Twilight Drill. We actually wrote it with um uh what's his name is going to be in the the count the company of the nag mm, okay we wrote it for his character okay sorry i can't I just and uh for the uh monster menagerie we have the everbrights which is uh, like a minion uh or a child of the friend or foe which is uh Narafian. And that is the embodiment of heat and light, kind of the heat miser to the cold miser that I did last time. Kind of a shout out to the old claymation stuff. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, the bass root uh, was a bass uh, rooting. Rooting. You guys know I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> For the terrible terrain, we've got the smoldering forest, which is a, a forest of veil that's burning in a very strange and peculiar way. And for the lost lore, we have elemental templating for monsters and creatures. 
So uh, really cool. We've got people chiming in from Scotland, Ca Canada, Italy, uh, North Carolina, Delaware. You're right, Delaware, dude, you should come hang out with us. You're right down the street. You're not the first person from Delaware we've hung out with in uh, Ted's basement. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Brian Feaster was from Delaware, creator yep. of Open Open Legends. Open Legend RPG. So that was really cool. Uh, so do we want to show off all the cool stuff we've uh, acquired? All right. Well, uh, for, first thing we got is in the mail happened to be last week, right after we finished our, our quest and adventure last week, uh, got a box in the mail from our good friend uh, Scott, who we we managed to meet at Geek Fest, and he made the, the cool, awesome template, or not template, but uh, Nerdarchy sign that you see every once in a while. Uh, but he does a, a, a 3D printer shop, and the link for his stuff, well, it'll be down below, but it's it's out there. And he sent us a nice, cool 3D printed spider that uh, I'll be looking forward to attacking some players with eventually. With battle damage? Oh, it's got some <laughs> battle damage, but he, he said that he's printing another one, but I'm quite happy with this one. we got a very cool giant pumpkin monster. I uh, have. Uh, the detail on that is sweet. If you actually look uh, look close, you can see how much uh, awesome detail there is. Yeah, it'll be so much better once they're painted with the, you know, with it all being one color, it kind of blends in. We got a, a cool magic portal that uh, can always spring up when you, you need to do so. Those larger characters are going to have to duck. <laughs> Watch the head. We have some Ooh. nice rust monsters, the bane of every adventuring party. Scott, that's just messed up to send that many rust monsters. <laughs> it's only three. <laughs> that's three too many. Um, I'm not even certain what this uh, bizarre monstrosity is supposed to be. It's like Brendel's kid brother. Yeah, let's see if you guys can see this guy. It's pretty cool. Yeah, one, one of them has got some battle damage on its... Uh, on his little antenna, uh, but I don't know if those damage are just a, some sprue that needs to be cut off. No, 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 it's literally missing part of the antenna. But again, that was uh, something that Scott oh, and I had communicated about. You know what this guy? What this guy looks like? He looks like scum. Mm, could be from uh, third edition. Abolith got a uh, nice happy Zorn. Always, uh, always a, a fun monster to throw out there. That they don't tend to make too many miniatures of those kind of things. Yeah, I could just hang out in the comments all day reading off where people are from. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, a pair of little clockwork spider-looking creatures. They're so uh, tiny, it's hard to actually get the, the good detail on those. And a plethora of slime, oozy-type monsters. Printed those in, in yellow so that they would stand out quite a bit. Again, this one's actually got a, a bit of a, a face on it. I don't know if you can actually... See that the yellow is making it too bright. Yeah, yeah, it's just reflecting. Is that a, is that a dire hermit crab? <laughs> <Is that laughs> no, 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 it's, it's all all just you know the it's way the slime, the way the slimes yeah, yeah, yeah. The slimes work. Um, and wow, this, nice. And this bag is full of spiders and spider eggs and all kinds of interesting stuff to go with the the big version that that's there. So Scott, thank you so much. When uh, when we actually get. Get the links dropped down below. Go check out the uh, Archaea workshop. It's awesome stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, because Scott keep a keeps asking when we're going to actually put up the gameplay with uh, with the terrain that he sent. Uh -huh. And that's uh, it's in Ted's game. And that is actually going live this weekend, finally. It's been sitting there collecting some virtual dust. And uh, you know, just the last couple of weeks have been busy. And also, Nerdarchy has just been hammered with like the holiday stuff and you know, it's just been a real challenge to get out the regular videos, so we haven't actually got as many gameplays as we wanted to. The December was down to two. Yeah, we, we actually had to cancel two two game sessions because there just wasn't enough time to do all the stuff that we had to actually do. Yeah. So, again, Australia, England, Texas, nice. chiming in. Guys, all over the world, that's amazing. I'm still blown away that you guys want to hang out with us. You know, from all all over the globe. This is like the coolest thing. That's why we need to do the nerdarchy 
the Nerdarchy World Tour at some point, <laughs> and uh, you know, just game with people all over the world. That'd that be would awesome. Be, that would be pretty sweet. Would you guys be up for that? Let me know in the uh, in the chat there if you guys think that'd be a good idea. So yesterday we got to got to hang out with Kyle S, who was the Joker in the the one gameplay video after Geek Fest. If you guys had, had watched that, and he he dropped off a little Santa's bag worth of uh, stuff that he says you can decorate our our shelving with. So right before you get to that, oh, um, again we are doing. I know some of you guys. Were, I'm repeating what I already said, but we are doing the giveaway for the Easy Roller uh, dice, uh, gunmetal dice, and tray. You guys are going to choose stuff. But just remember, you have to like, so be a subscriber, comment, and share. So if you haven't, if, if when we do the picker, it's going to tell us what things you have done. So quick, go to that video and do whatever you haven't done so you can be eligible. I I, I dread, you know, when I put the, put the load the comments and getting... Uh, getting somebody who, who missed something. Yeah, who didn't do something and so they don't get the prize. I, I really want to give it away to whoever we pull the first time. Absolutely. So... Uh, so the first thing is we have a stuffed Deadpool. It actually is quite squishy. Um, so it's actually kind of amusing because I'm wearing a Deadpool shirt. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah, he's plushy. Nice. So we have the Lone Wanderer from Fallout. Also a oh, nice. pop. Actually, I believe most, if not all, of these things are Pops. going to be. Ah, uh, Bender from Futurama. Uh, that's also, a good one. Uh, I'll just put it that over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's a, a pop mystery. <laughs> we don't answer. know what this one is. We'll never find out. Oh, it's just open. Oh, it oh it's a box within a box. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so it Solo. Is a, so Solo is the green Deadpool. No, no, he's not a Deadpool. He actually came out. I think he came out before Deadpool. No, oh, okay. A, He's a character that's come in and out of the Marvel use universe. Uh, he was introduced in the nineties. It's, it's the Deadpool era. Oh, okay. And we've got a Deadpool that looks exactly like Solo. Yes. <laughs> so the, apparently, this was a Deadpool themed uh, prize extravaganza. So thank you, Kyle. We really appreciate it. So you guys, you're going to see these you know, sprinkle throughout the set now. Uh, one of the things I wanted to say is, like, we've had one of our biggest months on Amazon. This month, uh, this month, actually, it is the biggest month we've ever had on Amazon. And what that means is we've been putting up Amazon links and you guys have uh, making your purchases through those links. And it, it helps us a lot. Um, it generates more revenue for Nerdarchy so we can keep doing this nerdy stuff. And and hopefully one day we will be full time Nerdarchists. So we greatly appreciate you guys using those links and sh sharing our stuff around and, and, and help spread the nerd love. So thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank, yes, you. thank you. And speaking of thank yous, I want to thank all of our uh, patrons out there. Uh, patrons out there, it, it means a lot that you guys are are willing to support us each, each and every month. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to try and you know keep keep doing our, our patron rewards. Looking to always think of new new levels and new ideas. So if you guys have something that you'd like to see us do, feel free to hit us up nerdarchygmail.com with any suggestions that you you might have for us. So with that, what time is it? All right. So we, we should ramble on about some stuff for a little bit longer. <laughs> do we have, <laughs> Take any, some do we questions. have any actual questions coming up? In uh, the yeah, we have one from Excalibur's LPS, which is, do you guys go to Gen Con? And I've never been. <laughs> Sadly, we, keep, we get asked that question a lot. And we actually, one of the things that Nerdarchy wants to do more of and that is going to conventions, especially the big ones like Gen Con, uh, PAX, uh, Dragon Con. There's, Dragon a, there's a bunch of them that we, yeah, we would like to hit regularly, you know, whether you know as attendees or boothing or running games. So, you know, something along those lines. Hopefully 2017 we can do more of that. And when it comes to, like, uh, the Patreon and you guys using our Amazon links or uh, – Drive through RPG, you purchase stuff through through there, and even just you know you know clicking the ads on 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 our uh, YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. All that goes to help to support us so that we can actually do more of that stuff. Right. So have we been there? No. Do we want to? Yes. And we and we just want to do more of it because we we also feel like going to more conventions and where more more of our peoples. 
uh, hang out is going to be also a good way for us to uh, spread the nerdarchy love. Indeed. You got anything else for us, Nate? No, just a lot of thank you and well wishing. Which <laughs> we would really appreciate. And chiming that. in from where they're yeah, from, <laughs> like uh, Larvik, so, Norway, and Netherlands, and yeah, which is amazing. So one of the things with with the quests and adventures is like our Q and A. We're we're doing it weekly, and okay. So when we the the evolution is first, it was just the nerdy news, where we would we would record a video, we would list kind of the stuff that we that we did throughout the week and we would literally just read off a list to you guys it was really boring as shit <laughs> and yet people would watch it <laughs> people would watch it and then we kind of like stepped it a lot up a little bit with our weekly wrap where we're like instead we're like hey we don't actually have to read it to you guys we can just tell you it's in the description below and we can talk about other, other stuff other nerdy things and what we have going on what what what's happened what's going to happen and then a company started sending us stuff to check out and we said hey why don't we just give this stuff away to our the people hanging in so right we, we did we did actually get to that evolution where we were reviewing products that people would send us and we would we would talk about it on here and we're still going to continue doing that for anything that people want to send our way right um, and then in addition to that we were also started with as you guys might have seen we did the trinitan uh video review where we're doing we're going to try and do more sponsored um, product reviews product reviews as well where companies send this their stuff and pay us to actually spend time doing it because one of the things is that we do like checking out new stuff and enjoy it but for three or four of us to read you know a book even like even like some people are like well why don't you guys do a review on x right and even like that book if it's a hardback book that might be like 50 60 dollars then we each like need a copy in order to do it yeah we, we, and then we have to spend several hours when you know with the three of us we each have a job a family each of our families have extracurricular activities so well, it's, it's difficult to find the time to do that kind of lengthy review process and when it's a 200 and some page book it's it's a bit it's a bit rough. yeah it, it, it takes it's time consuming in addition to all the other stuff we're doing and we've been making moves to free up some of our time so that we could dedicate more time to doing that stuff like uh, ty johnson came on to manage the the content on the website which is a great help um what else uh, during the summer i mean during the winter time it's a little easier because we can we can get together during the week and shoot more videos instead of having to do it all on the weekend right and uh, you know we can do that stuff while our families are otherwise engaged in school and work so that helps out a lot there's, there's just a lot of like moving parts that go into nerdarchy that that may not be apparent right you know there's, right away there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that it's not it's not always easy it's like how do you find the time to do all of this stuff uh sandman 29331 do you guys do you always upload our on our arcana videos on mondays Pretty much, yes. yeah. So, so that's what we've been doing, just so it's more consistent for you guys, so you can find them. And the other thing too is now, now that they, they Wizards of the Coast has been releasing one a week, as well. Because here, here's what happens: like the flow is, we will get together one to two times a week, and we will shoot all the videos for the following week, and that's why it ends up being that way. That's why we're also wearing the same clothes for an extended period of time. <laughs> yeah, we do change clothes <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so, so there's that. So if the Unearthed kind of releases on Monday, we're not filming Monday. You know, lately we've been recording, you know, once during the week and once on the weekend. So we'll get together, we'll record that video along with typically four others, and then that'll be the first video that goes on Monday, so that we get it to you as soon as possible. And also, we try to automate a lot of the stuff we do through any kind of scheduling that there is. So we try and do it ahead of time, so we don't oh. set it and forget it. What do we got? Sorry, I'm reading the comments and some of the. <laughs> oh, you're gonna I, laugh. I, th this has got to be a typo. Okay, so uh, okay, so we have what archetype would each of you like to see created if you haven't made one all your own already? And then Kyle S replied, uh, "Nate is going to say picnic." Regardless <laughs> of the fact that it's not an archetype, I'm gonna say that with psionics because well, you know, <laughs> yeah. psionics. Yeah. Yes, Nate, Nate is the, the the lover of psionics, and ten levels is not enough to sate Nate's not love enough. of psionics. So. Yeah. So what what kind of archetypes would you guys pick that haven't been created yet, or have you made one that you uh, you like? That, that's a that's a tough. So one. well, we did make one archetype. 
and we we kind of did a video on it. Uh -huh. the, it was actually the three of us. We did the chain fist monk. Mm -hmm. uh, was was a an order we came up with and some ideas, and then Ryan went and actually fleshed out the archetype and created it. And then one of the I forget which month it was, but we then it was part of our Patreon rewards for that month. Uh -huh. So we did that one. That was cool. Um, some some of the ones like. When when they're coming out with archetypes, I was like, man, where are they going to go from here? It seems like the bases are covered, and they still are coming up with some interesting things. Well, when we were looking at possible Patreon rewards and looking at possibly doing a more class or more player option side of things, I started coming up with a list of possible things that you could do for uh archetypes for each of the different classes. But, I mean, none of them were like, oh, this is the one that I would have to act actually play there's there's enough options out there that i don't feel like something is absolutely missing now they're getting into the territory of like prestige classes mm -hmm. from previous editions uh -huh. and yes uh i was a blue uh Ryulu blue had asked about you know the the paladin archetypes the the oaths in this time around and this is the first iron north account we said wow these are really significantly better especially the tyranny yeah yeah but monday you'll get we you'll get our whole like 30 minute feedback on that that was good stuff uh, the other thing that's exciting too is we're about to upgrade our equipment again which means unfortunately we're gonna have to learn how to use it again <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah we're yeah you know, we're looking at some uh, dsr cameras and we're looking at some audio equipment because with with us going on the cruise in January, we want to be able to get it capture as much video and pictures and audio and so, and all that stuff as we that we can in the highest possible quality. So, so some of our fans have, have had said that they're sadly aren't able to make the cruise for whatever reason, and you know we want to be able to share as bring much some of it back so that hey, if you know fantasy people decide to do it again next year you'll have everything that we've done or as much as we we can talk about as as proof to how awesome it is or not awesome as it is we haven't been there yet but i suspect it's going to be pretty uh, awesome yeah I, I i'm i'm severely looking forward to it well and bringing that up if you guys if you i believe there's still cabins left if you still if you're still thinking about going you can use the promo code nerdarchy to get a 10 percent discount and uh, I believe it's as low as like three ninety nine a person plus taxes and fees, whatever that works out. And then you get your discount on that. So it's yeah. Fun. So there is that going on, but like we said, so we, we we we're getting ready to order that stuff so we can, you know, one produce better videos for you guys, and two, um, also be able to capture that stuff and bring it back and share it with you guys. So I'm sure there's going to be some cool annex going on. We definitely had the the winner of the cabin that we gave away so we're definitely going to be playing some dnd with those guys at Absolutely. least yeah, he's really excited i i had sent sent the email and he's like is this some kind of scam <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah is this a fishing scam hey are you a nigerian prince by chance <laughs> <laughs> it's like no no we, we reply this is legit you can actually see where your name is mentioned here on this video so on the, on the going along the strand of uh archetypes uh, Flaming Dice is asking about a new druid archetype. What we we like to see in that? Personally, uh, what I didn't see out of the UA was a beast, go, beast, beast master. Yeah, yeah. Beast master. On. Yeah, getting the getting summoning a, one's cool, but you know, animal companion. Druid, druid yes. with an animal companion would be cool. I had also thought like the druid of winter, and uh, you know, getting into that whole aspect of of, of cold. I think it might be or your or like a vermin or arachnid, mm. or you know, a druid that focuses on some different aspects or yeah, and how maybe that, how that changes the archetype yeah. mm -hmm. maybe an underdark droid i mean you, i know you can go circle the land to take underdark but it doesn't right. quite feel not the same. same yeah yeah it's not it's not dark and creepy enough chirp 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 yeah cricket cricket <laughs> so you got any more questions yes there are more questions i'm a zombie is that, the, is that the username or is that the, the comment? No, Joe Bonar at Nerdarchy. The game is called I'm a Zombie. It, but the first thing I read was just I'm a Zombie. <laughs> In case you've heard of it and are interested. What game? I, I oh. believe it's a board game. It might be like further <coughs> up in the comments. Oh. And it's just something I just randomly saw. Just the comment of I'm a Zombie. Got it. Would you... Or do you start using anti patterns in your campaigns? Honestly, like most of our games are geared towards heroes, so I think they're great classes and great options for bad guys. 
the yeah. the one the one of conquest was kind of like well you could kind of play this one mm -hmm. but tyranny like no right. <laughs> and not really it, it's not really a good choice unless you want that player to be the villain yeah the, the treachery which is the black guard yeah mm -hmm. so now it is possible to do evil games and we've done some some videos on how to run a successful evil game it's just you want to be more towards lawful the lawful evil as opposed to chaotic evil. Uh, okay, so here, here's the, I'm a zombie. My brother worked on a game. I was wondering if you wanted the copy to check it out. So we do have a P.O. Box listed somewhere. Yeah, it's uh, uh, Ner Nerdarchy, P.O. Box 534, Woodbury, New Jersey, 08096. Uh, if there's something that you want to, to send us for for a review or what have whatever have you that's always an address you can you can use i do check it once a week also uh sandman 29331 i know i don't have to read the numbers but i like to <laughs> I <don't know> <laughs> uh wants to know if you have any predictions for you a sorcerer or a wizard i mean also there's a warlock that'll be coming out as well i think the, the wizard right. is the wizard is going to be the one that's the the trickiest because they like they gave us all the schools yes so like where are they gonna go with it next for wizard we've gotten we've gotten the schools we've gotten artificer and we've gotten blade singer uh, alchemist I, i'm gonna go alchemist they're gonna do an alchemist mm, that would be that would be interesting uh so but you know they're probably gonna do more than one so alchemist Tattoos? would be another nah no? summoner summoner i was thinking summoner but conjuration kind of yeah, but if, that, but if you look, if you look, but you're talking like summoner, you're talking about magic creatures. circle stuff. Not nah, creatures. No? Yeah, well, okay. I, you could go kind of circles, but yeah, like critters. Okay. But definitely, yeah, definitely alchemist would be in that, or it should. Okay, <laughs> sorcerer, <laughs> sorcerer could really be be anything. Uh, yeah, uh, any uh, any monster like because previous editions, especially Pathfinder, listed like pretty much like undead. Uh, aberrations so, so, uh, like I'm, everything i'm gonna say that they're gonna go with something either like planar or demonic because mm. you've got the dragon blood so why can't we have something that's like demonic blood or yeah. Cthulian? Mm. that's great old one that's warlock, oh, oh, oh no that's we're, warlock we're talking so yeah like they could do like a um otherworldly mm -hmm. which would fall into aberration whether yeah. or not like well yeah so aberrant, 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 aberrant sorcerer aberrant. would be pretty fun yeah so yeah so there's there's definitely some room for there uh warlock's gotten a few too uh well sorcerer also had the shadow so that one so they've already done that one mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so they don't need to, they don't need to hit umbra right and they have the the favored soul that has the the divine paths right but that was more so. like a character class so yeah. that was a little different <laughs> kyle uh, kyle s Five EP. Okay, he's telling someone to look something up. Yeah, so I would I would say uh, for sorcerer the like a um, a radiant or kind of celestially touched sorcerer build I think would be good. I mean, even if I I actually reskinned one for an Azamar, and it was just you know oh it was the same as the draconic thing. You just had you know like holy protection as your your armor and. So it just it was just a reskin though. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't right. it wasn't a full like you know, what would like an imagination of Yeah, well I feel like you know, either if you go lower planes or upper planes, reskinning the dragon one's really easy. Yeah. Like you could definitely do spectral armor instead of this where where it's physically changed, you know, when something attacks them of like, you know, golden armor kind of like, like translucent gold, golden armor appears or mm -hmm. or or a crimson armor appears, wings easy enough. Bat wings or angel Those wings, wings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. So it, that all that works really, really easily. The resistance is you, for both of them. You can literally just say the same and just give them necrotic and, oh. and radiant because they're they're not as they're not as used as often. Yeah, yeah. I mean, heck, the Asimar gets both. So yeah, and that's what I would kind of model that off of. The question is though, where they're going to go with warlock packs? I mean, that's another one. It's like. Like I guess well, we've I mean, talked you, about you it talk before. The Pact of the Dragon. Yeah, the Pact of the Dragon. Uh, so yeah. that would be would be very very obvious. Anything that can uh, have a cult could probably have yeah. a warlock pack. Uh, what about elemental? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, pack of the Primordial. Which could also like, and then like that's you also get into the territory like that anything that could kind of like be a pact could like circle back around to sorcerer. Sorcerers, yeah. Yes. And and make it a bloodline. Right. As well. So it's one points to the other. I feel like Warlock and 
and uh, sorcerer have like so many different directions they could go in. Where a wizard, it's like that's the one you really have to think about it's, a little bit more. Yeah, because that one is it's studious. It's not, you know, it's not as easy. But then again, we've already got ten traditions for for wizards. Quick, Ted, cake or pie? Cake, pie. Yeah, I'm kind of a fan of. Uh, what's cheesecake? Ah, I guess it's cake. It's right in the name. Cheesecake is cake. <laughs> well, I'm a fat guy. I like them both. On it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and everybody else is responding. In. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quick, make a poll. Make a poll. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, should we, you guys ready? Should we give away, let me know in the comments. Should we give away the dice? Should we give away these? I, I, think, it's, I think it's time. I think there's a little bit of a lag. Well, they don't belong to anybody. I want to look at them one last time. <laughs> we're like not giving away that set. Oh, okay, good. They're going to get to pick the color. They're going to get to pick the color of the yeah, dice. These are the, the Naranaki dice. So, <laughs> yeah. They're Ted's. Ted will break your fingers. The black, and, red. <laughs> the black and reds. Uh, what PC race would you like to see in the future? Future. Something new. You know that there's there's so many things that are that are options and Volo's guide gives you a bunch more literally a, a you know half a dozen fully fleshed out races and then stats for a dozen that are monster races that you can play. And so, then we have like four editions of D and D to kind of like draw upon. So like I'd like to see some something something new, maybe something alien that hasn't been in D and D before. I'm I'm gonna break my normal thing and say shard mine. <laughs> Which is what, 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 what's your normal thing? Oh, I mean, Cyanex. Yeah. So you're not breaking. Uh, not yeah, yeah, breaking my yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I I did a write up for Shard Mine and put it on. Uh, it's on nerdarchy.com. Way a while back, back in the day, way back, like maybe two years ago, uh, when I was into the writing up all the Sonics, and I really liked getting into the the kind of background and storyline of them, and I I liked them as an idea for a race, just in general. So I'd like to see the like the fifth edition take on that. So I, I think I think when or if they ever decide to do psionics, it's going to be an all inclusive book like it was in the earlier editions. Here's the races. Here's the backgrounds. Here's the here's the class options. And um, the, the nice thing, I, the the thing I really liked about psionics, it wasn't just a psychic human. It wasn't just a blue goblin. It was uh -huh. it was something wholly different from just right. a more psychic version of a race that already exists. It was it was no essentially, yeah. the, though uh, the wildlings were kind of cool too. Mm -hmm. uh, not the Game of Thrones wildlings, <laughs> but they're basically like uh, nature spirits that inhabited like oh yeah a bunch of like I don't know like trees and not so much trees, but they, it's just they look like they look like they're more like constructed. Uh, but they were kind of introduced in fourth edition. I kind of thought they were kind of cool. I also wonder if we're going to see half giant or if they're, they're just saying Goliath is half giant. Mm. I, I kind of want to see half giant because right then you then you have the fur bogs which are, are you know, not the fur bogs I remember right then you, uh, you have would have half giant and then you would have Goliath so now you have like three different races so you could you really could do a a giant party right <laughs> <laughs> little giants <laughs> so you have I mean you could, you could run a whole campaign with those and that would be that'd be pretty interesting eighth level brownie dental assistant. That must be in a lot of something else. Someone asked if we're going to roll the dice that we're going to send to you guys. No, because they're actually going to come right from Easy Roller to whoever wins. And that's the other thing. If you're the winner, um, we'll try and reach out to you through YouTube. But also, if you see that you are the winner, you can ex expedite things by reaching out to us at nerdarchy at gmail.com and go, hey, I'm that guy. You're that guy. Here's the name and address. We will verify that it's the, yeah, yeah. the, the right thing. So don't just be like, hey, I'm the winner. Why does his name not match? <laughs> why Why did we just get 300 guy uh, emails saying they won? <laughs> uh, again, if you need to contact us for any reason, be it a GM911, a viewer suggestion, or whatever have you, nerdarchy at gmail.com. It's the best way to get in touch with us. I think Dave and I are in there multiple times a day uh, checking that out. So. And is it time to time to, to spin or click? or? Well, Alex uh, DiCudo... Ricardo, I'm probably butchering this shit out of that. <laughs> uh, wants to know if we're going to do cla uh, classes 2.0 series after I played them more extensively. I don't feel like, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I kind of want to, but I also don't feel like I've played them that much more extensively because literally 
uh, we're running the same campaigns we started with, right. other than like one shot games that we've participated in and and short um, sort of campaigns elsewhere and what have you. There's not there's not really a large exposure. I would love to be able to play more and be able to have a chance to really see all these different classes and how they level and how this power works and how that power works. But honestly. We're not gaming enough so to, to really make that happen. Well, yeah. there's a lot of classes. If all of us did, you know, played a class, we'd have at least twelve games. Each. Well, there are there are twelve classes. Each class has a minimum of two archetypes within it. Yeah, it's yes. a lot to a lot to get around. And then right now, like me and Ted are doing the DMing, so we're not even playing in all the games. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nate's only a player in one, and although he did a a guest appearance in your game, yes, uh, like. It becomes like a one shot. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. But, you know, th that being said, we, we do have, a as we play and go forward, we do have a better grasp of the rules. As you'll see, we still, we still forget things and relearn things and get things wrong. And we have the comment section for that. You guys help us out whether we want it or not. <laughs> yeah. I think we want <laughs> debate and interpretation. Yeah. Through the comments mm -hmm. and through discussion and a lot of going over the rules, I think we've all got a better grasp of it than we had. When, when we first did the class. Yeah, because when, when, we first, when we first started with doing all that was essentially when it was released in the PDF format, July of 2014, I think. And, uh, you know, from there, we've Two kind of been... Ago. What's that? Two and a half years ago. Yeah, and from there, we've done a lot of 5e coverage. I can't, I can't even believe we've done so many videos and we still have things to talk about. <laughs> but you guys help with that a lot. You guys literally are constantly, you know, fueling, fueling, fueling our brains with and our imaginations with new topics to discuss that, that keeps things from getting stale or old. So I guess we're going to try and do this screen share thing. And so you guys see that? That is where we're going to take the URL from the 25K mid. And it's going to tell us who we went. Who went? No, no, no. no. Okay, good. <laughs> I wasn't going to actually hit the table. I know because the, the mic. <laughs> yes, as the everyone, mic is right here. Yeah, as yeah. everyone's told me, every time you hit the table, they all begin. They all begin clutching their heads, especially if they're wearing earphones. Headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, you just deafened them all. So now we're going to see. And the lucky winner is. Oh, no! Yeah, it's actually it has to it has to download all the comments, and there's a bunch. So uh, four four pages worth of comments, three hundred and twenty six comments. Chances are it's going to be Nerdarchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from 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 responding. Let's see, does Nerdarchy win the sweet dice? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Um, I will let you know if 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 we pick ourselves, we'll pick a new winner. Yeah. Ryan Ooh. Smith. Oh no, my greatest fear. He commented but did not like but the video. It's not showing any likes. You guys rock, keep the hobby alive, boys. Thank you, Ryan Smith, but unfortunately we must click again. And brrr. <laughs> Oh no. Christy Bell, one comment, zero likes. Come on. Oh my god. Martin <laughs> Berth <laughs> Johansson. Again. Three down. Oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> Four down. Did, did anybody like this video? <laughs> Listen, I literally did the test, and it was like, you know, there were some, but most of them that came up, two comments. <laughs> Finally. Right. Hey. hey, we know that guy. We know that. Christopher Evans. You're definitely subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> one comments, one likes. You're subscribed. And Christopher Evans, we actually know how to... We actually know how to get a hold of you. <laughs> yes, and thanks for the well wishes of the hundred K. Yes, um, and you know everyone who did participate, we appreciate it greatly. Uh, now I have to figure out how to get out of the the screen share. Stop! Stop! Good, they give you a button. There we go. <laughs> and we're back. So it could have went smoother, but you know, there was literally people though that uh did stop by and are like, I'm a lurker, I don't actually care about being in the contest, and I just want to yeah, I just wanted to wish you guys well and, and things like that. So, you know, we which we appreciate like uh all you guys for, first of all. 
I mean, it's while, while we enjoy talking about this stuff, we don't need to hit the record to talk about it at home. It's you guys that we that we do this for, and we enjoy doing it. So, well, you know, it, it goes both ways. Like the the interaction that we get, mm -hmm. you know, makes it all worthwhile. Mm -hmm. and, and meeting new friends and and people we would have never met if we hadn't done this. Absolutely, our gaming, even just our local gaming circle, has expanded so much from doing the hierarchy right. and meeting people that are board game designers or just doing cool things in general. Um, you know, Scott Scott came down from Long Island, drove like three hours to give us the cool sign yep. that's above uh, Nate's head which is really awesome and we've been building a relationship with him and now now you've got like all these critters on the table in front of us now from him which we which Grass. is awesome and we really appreciate you know so I mean, we we've met you know scott garibay and all of the the different tendrils of friends through through him that we've met like kurt who's joined my game who's a fantastic role player wouldn't have met that whole circle of people had we not done Nerdarchy. Yeah, I mean, really, that came from Yo-Yo Club. And, and you know, I was wearing a Cthulhu shirt. And Scott was like, oh, Cthulhu, one of my favorite things, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, you know, and from that friendship, is, friendships and new bonds have been made. And even, like, all of our fan games we run, you know, there's so many there's so many gamers that we've gotten to game with from doing that. You figure every time we run a fan game, like, three to five of you guys show up. And we've done like you know twelve of them now, or fourteen, or something like that. I think it's fourteen. Yeah, so you know that's that's a decent that's a decent amount of gamers, and hopefully we're going to run into some of you guys on on the cruise. We already know uh, what was Matthew this? Mann. Matt, yeah, Matthew Mann will be there, and we do know some other people definitely purchased the cruise through our link. Uh, so hopefully they'll reach out to us too, so we know who they are, and we can hang out with them. And that's the other reason why we want to start doing more events as well is so that we actually can go places where you guys can find us and we can interact with you in person because yeah the, the, the virtual thing is cool but there's you know there, it, it, there's nothing quite the same as you know getting a getting a you know, handshake face. a hug you know sitting down at the at the table or having you know playing a game or having dinner all that stuff is is really been an incredible journey for us yeah you get to meet meet people see how how they got their exposure to to, to gaming and like you know we we you know we were talking to somebody yesterday and they're new to the hobby and it's like literally they were at their job and someone mentioned D&D &D and they're like what's that <laughs> so like fifth edition is their only source of of role playing and they've been doing it for a year so it, or, it's or less or you, there's so many times in the comments you see someone go I used to play, and your channel got me back into playing D and D, which is is so well, awesome. That's, that, that's where Ty is. Yes, yeah. So, and and I was talking to somebody. Sta well, I guess we can't call him staff writer Ty anymore. Staff editor Ty. Uh, Supreme I mean, editor. He's, he's, <laughs> oh, I, I, Czar. He's the nerdarchy uh, nerdarchy writing Czar. I was <laughs> I consider myself the content manager for the website, so. He can call himself whatever, whatever, but that's Master what I do. <laughs> yeah, Master Ty. <laughs> yes, he's like a Jedi. No, but I, I, Seth. I encountered somebody that I've been working with for years, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I used to play D and D, and you know, haven't played in years." So, like, that's something that by me doing Nerdarchy, I might be getting this guy back in the in the playing. <laughs> Samantha, uh, Samantha Carr, Hal Zara, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. I, you know, I think uh, nerd, uh, nerdy Zar or Zar of nerd, nerddom. We'll, we'll have to come up with some really long. We, we have to I'm channel. Name. We, we're gonna have to channel our inner uh, gnome in order to come up with <laughs> oh, this full man. title. Might have to even go like a Tinker Gnome from Dragonlance. Oh, oh boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go, a quick visit to Mount Nevermind. That'll be a. Uh... That'll be quite quite the name then. Let's see. I'm out in the woods and I have not played in about eight years. Woo! He brought us into the woods. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, I think Andrew Knapp used to do that too. He uh, he would bring uh, he would bring like YouTube content with him when he would go hunting and stuff. Uh -huh. but that's, that's kind of cool. We've gone all over the place. So I guess with that, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, Yo, in the comments section, in the chat section, let us know if you want us to keep doing these live things. Uh, the plan is to do one a week. Probably they're going to be on Saturday sometime. The, the time might shift a little bit, but sometime between 12 and, and 2 o'clock Eastern time. 
is is our plan. Uh, sometimes things will happen, holidays, busy schedules, and things will have to get shifted to Friday or Sunday, or you know, time will have to fluctuate. But the the, the plan is to is to do it. I think that you guys out there enjoy getting the names shouted out and getting the questions answered live. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, and also like if we get sometimes we get GM nine ones that are not necessarily GM nine one ones that we would do a video on. So we might you we might take those questions and answer them as well. Um, sometimes we're gonna most of the time the plan is to do it just like this where we're sitting in Ted's basement at the set uh, all together. But sometimes we might have to do do a hangout and we'll and we'll all come in remotely. Not quite as cool, but you know. I mean, Ted, we could put Ted over here and he could sit in the set for us. <laughs> Maybe get some standees. <laughs> I know uh, Nate has been working working on his backdrop to make it look a little more cooler, cooler and dungeon esque. I'll be moving to the, the the dungeon in the basement soon, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's gonna. Get I've, me, I've also gonna get me in the zone. I but. have moved into the basement where I actually do have my bookshelves of stuff and and but my little buddy. Buy standees, you'll get stuffed animals. Oh man! <laughs> well, can I be Domo? Uh, I was just gonna call Domo. <laughs> Got Domo and the pink unicorn. I want to be the wizard. The vac a, wizard vacuum cleaner. <laughs> on Domo. <laughs> yes, I do have a wizard cover for my vacuum cleaner. And then also, like one of the things we talk about too uh, is maybe in the future, even for our live plays, stepping that up and using, you know, multiple cameras. Uh, so that we can have multiple screens going. I, I think uh, some of the other channels have, have done it. It would be. It'd be cool if we could get to the point where we have a cra cameraman, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. <laughs> but for now, I mean, we are going to get another camera, so we'll, we'll, we're going to up our, our camera mount. So. Yeah, yeah. So we're definitely always looking up the game and, and make it more appealing to, to the masses so that we can have more of you guys out there and we can make this, you know, our job. Yeah. Indeed. Well, we want to be Will Wheaton when we grow up, and uh, someday <laughs> we will get there thanks to you guys. So... We're going to cut this one short. Ted has to run out and actually pick up his son. We got more videos to shoot for next week. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy. Happy holidays.